Hi guys, welcome back to Saturday Morning Cartooning, the show where we learn about cartoon characters from the past, the people that created them, and then we learn to draw them together. Before we get started, let's take a look at some viewer art. Today we're learning about the pint-sized genius from Cartoon Network's Dexter's Lab. Dexter's Lab was an animated show that aired on Cartoon Network between the years 1996 and 2003. The show tells the story of Dexter, a child genius and master inventor who has a hidden laboratory in his house. Inexplicably, Dexter has a general European accent that is a nod towards the portrayal of mad scientists from old movies. He lives with his clueless mom and dad and his annoying sister, Dee Dee, who ends up being the antagonist in most of the episodes. Dee Dee is Dexter's older sister, who is loud, loves to dance, and is extremely clumsy. This causes Dee Dee to destroy many of Dexter's inventions and, of course, cause the drama in each episode. Created by animator Gendy Tartakovsky, the concept of Dexter's lab was started by Tartakovsky drawing a picture of a tall, skinny, lanky ballerina. Tartakovsky thought a good comparison would be pairing up this tall character with a short, round character. This became the basis for the characters Dee Dee and Dexter. Dexter became the star of the show, with the addition of other short segments in the show like Dial M for Monkey, The Justice Friends, and Puppet Pals. Dexter's Lab was one of the original Cartoon Network shows in the Cartoon Cartoons block of programming from the late 1990s that also included shows like Cow and Chicken, Courage the Cowardly Dog, and Johnny Bravo. The quirky character design and overall popularity of Dexter's Lab helped launch the career of other famous animators like Craig McCracken, Seth MacFarlane, and Butch Hartman. All right, let's get ready to draw Dexter and Dee Dee. Let's take a look at the reference drawing. And uh, like we said in the slide presentation, this is uh, the characters themselves of Dexter and Dee Dee were based on just a, a drawing done by uh, Gendy Tartakovsky, uh, the creator. He drew, actually, Dee Dee first, a tall, lanky girl, and he wanted something that is uh, the complete opposite, and that is a short, little, stubby Dexter. So uh, look at these real simple shapes. In fact, if you look at Dee Dee, here's her head, here's her body. She's basically a head <laughs> and appendages. And then if you look at Dexter, he is also basically more head than body. So I love these character designs, very, very um, unique. So we're going to draw them both. Let's do Dee Dee first. Um, she's got this flat topped head. Almost like a half circle. And then this tiny little dress of a body. That might even be too big. In fact, I think it is too big. <laughs> Let's make it a little bit smaller. There we go. All right. And she is basically a hand going out this way. The other hand gets cut off by part of the head, so the other one's going to come out this way go a little bit darker so you guys can see it. She's got a giant leg coming out this way and the leg is um, meant to come out at the viewer as if she's stepping towards you. So her foot is going to be gigantic. And then the other foot's going up this way. And this foot will be slightly smaller, not that much smaller. Okay. Remember, we're just doing basic shapes now, basic shapes and lines. We're figuring out where the head, the arms, the legs are going to go, which is actually more uh, simple when it comes to Dee Dee than, it, um, than Dexter when we get to him. Let's put in her ponytail. She's got sort of like this teardrop up here. And then half of that teardrop is going to be 
maybe about a quarter of that teardrop is going to be cut off by the shape of her head. Uh, before we get into the specifics of her face, let's finish up the arm. So we drew the line already for the arm. Let's thicken it slightly. She's still got thin, lanky appendages. Appendages meaning arms and legs. That, again, this is another good example of tapering. Her arms are going to be thicker at the wrist than they are at the shoulders. And she's got these one. Three. Very stylized fingers. Stylized also meaning that they don't look 100% realistic. And I drew her so big that her hands are going off the side of the paper. That's okay. Well, now that we have her arm in, let's finish up her face. She's got this part of her hair going towards the arm. She's got this little, almost like a ballerina bun in the back. And then it just connects there. We'll erase this line later. Okay. And she's got her eyes closed. So it's almost like a frown line, but then we're just going to add some um, eyelashes to it. A pointy nose with another frowny line with eyelashes. And she's got a giant toothy grin. So it goes from one end to the other. body is just that little ballerina tutu shape and the same deal with her legs they're going to be slightly thicker at the ankle than they are at the hips she's got some ribbons at the bottom and this is supposed to be the bottom of her shoe Let's see here. There we go. Just want to make it look like her leg was actually coming out from underneath the tutu. She's got a very pointy knee. Going into the foot. There's the bottom of her foot, just like the other one. And then two ribbons. All right, let's do Dexter. Dexter is basically all one piece. I'm just drawing a basic shape right now. We'll put in the details later. So we got sort of like a, an, a long oval with a pointy end here. And then this will be his head, or his face rather into a deep angle with a chin. All right. His body is going to be going down this way. And let's give him an ear right here. And his face is basically all his glasses and he's making Sort of like a mean face with his glasses. He's always annoyed by Dee Dee. And his glasses go way off the edge of his face. All right? He's got a pointy nose just like Dee Dee. That goes into an upper lip. That goes into the glasses. 
and the other side of his mouth comes out down here. So he's always yelling. A line of teeth and the inside of his mouth. Right. If you want to, you can just erase the inside of the nose so that it looks all one piece. Let's thicken those glasses lines because he's wearing these big black horn rimmed glasses. And we only see two little half pupils. This will all be black later on when we start inking. He's got little frown lines in between his eyebrows. And what I always liked about Dexter is that his hair is, the line is smooth on top, but when it comes underneath, you get two little curly cues. So there's one. So let's make that a little bit more angled. One, two, and that goes back in. And that sort of like gives him his hairline. And he's got two little pieces coming off the side there. He's going to have one arm coming up this way. We're, we're just putting the lines in now. We'll come back in and put in the details. And when I say details, there's not that many details. These are very, very simply designed characters. Very much the style at the time. All right, so he has, he's wearing a lab coat. And this is going to be one arm going down. That's going to be the beginnings of his purple gloves. It almost looks like a vase. It looks like a vase that you put flowers in. Again, very stylized. Look at that. Hardly any separation of fingers, too. Uh, we can do the same over here. This arm is coming out this way. This is where we're going to see a little bit more um, detail in the fist. Not much. One, two, three. And you can just separate them by little lines like that. And the fist going into the purple glove. All right. He has got a line going down this way. This is the, the where his lab coat comes together. And then his little feet are all black. It's like solid black. And he's got these little, almost like boots. The little notch in them for a heel. He's got one there. And he's got one here. That's pretty good. Just smooth that line. Make it a little bit more angled. All right. He's got just a connector from his glasses going behind his ears. All right, I think we're ready to start inking. If I need to um, put any more pencils in, I will see that when I start inking. And again, look at how thickly outlined these characters are. I think a fine point would be much better than an ultra fine point. Right. That's Dee Dee's one ponytail or pigtail. I'm going to do the arm that's cutting off this, the, the head shape first. Okay. Now I can do the rest of the head shape.
you know, what's really good about these characters is that they're so stylized that if you make a tiny little mistake, you won't even know the difference too much because they don't look like real people. So sometimes characters are really good at being able to hide their mistakes. Now, some characters are so iconic that if you make a tiny little mistake, it's glaring. You can really see it. Not so with these characters. Now I'm inking in the entire glasses and the pupil as well. side, I'm just going to get the nose and the top lip in there. Because I don't want the nose to get the other side of the glasses in the way. The glasses going behind the ears and his other side of his face. side of the mouth. All right, let's do the fist. All one piece. Just shortening his lab coat just a little bit. And you can ink in those boots. They are going to be pure black, so you could use your inking marker. We are ready to, oh, no I'm not, two little hairs at the top of his head. Isn't it funny how the tiniest little thing can make or break a character? All right, now let's take a little bit of time and erase our pencil lines. start coloring. We'll start with some, some flesh tone. I only have it in a uh, 
colored pencil today. Arms on DD. And face. just the face on Dexter. Though he does have this tiny little piece right above his glasses here, his brows, his ear, his cheek. And his nose and upper lip. Okay, let's do DD first. Yellow for her hair. And down here is also yellow. Pink. For her ballerina dress, the two ribbons on each leg, and then her ballet shoes. Everything else is white. Her legs are white because she's wearing um, a dance leotard. Dexter has orange hair, and you just color right over those curly cues. The insides of his glasses are going to be blue. is going to be pink. His gloves are purple. And then the last thing you can do is just go back in with a little bit of black and do the inside of his mouth. And there we have it. Dee Dee and Dexter. <laughs>